Hi, yeah. I'm going to do a hair tutorial today. Well, actually, I'm just going to show you the products that I use and uh, how I leave my hair to dry. I've got really long curly hair and I never use a hair dryer. I find it damages my hair and makes my hair really frizzy, even if I use a diffuser. So I just want to show you how I do it for those of you who have long hair and also for those of you who've got kids with long curly hair and don't really know how to deal with it. So I give myself a side parting and I use a paddle brush. This one is by Paul Mitchell. Um, I shampooed my hair earlier and I use Arbonne shampoo usually, uh, which is vegan and botanical and leaves my hair really lovely and soft. I have trialed other products. Um, I have used, oh, excuse me, Josh Wood Colour, which is also very good. So if you've got coloured hair, that's a good option. So I'm just brushing all the knots out and I'm also sort of starting to define a shape. So I'm not trying to give myself a parting at the back and obviously just brushing my hair in the direction where it's going to sit when it dries. So I use three products and because I'm lazy, I put them all on together. I've got L'Oreal Te Techni Art List Control. I have Evo Liquid Rollers Curl Balm and I also have this wonderful Kevin Murray Young Again Serum which actually just is really good for stopping frizz particularly if you're out and about in humid weather which I am at the moment so I'm just going to take each of these products I'll show you how much I use that much that's the L'Oreal, this is the Evo, which is thicker, about that much. And then the Kevin Murphy, about three squirts. Now I'm just gonna rub it all in together. It makes a lovely gooey noise. And then I'm just going to work it through from near the top of my head all the way through to the ends. Make sure that you get the back and make sure you get underneath. Same on the other side. Just work, make sure it's all worked into the hair. There, now I'm gonna take a little dribble of water. I'm standing at the sink. And with, that, with wet hands, I am going to start to scrunch my hair. Again, I'm working the product in by doing this, but I'm also getting the ends, which are a little bit drier than the roots, having been in my um, towel for a while. And then a bit more water to get the other side. And a bit round the back. Now give it a bit of a scrunch up the top and really that's it. Now obviously it's soaking wet so I'll come back later and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry but um, it's that easy and now the trick is not to touch it. Don't scrunch it, don't play with it, don't tuck it behind your ears, just leave it exactly as it is and then once it's dry you can stop messing around with the style. See you later. Hi folks, I'm back. So it's been about an hour and a half since I did the first part of this video with the products. And sorry, I'm a bit hot. I've just been out for a walk with the dog. So this is the finished product. I haven't really done anything. I haven't scrunched it. I haven't touched it. I've just, as I say, been out walking and come back all hot and sweaty and it seems to be fine. Um, it's not um, frizzy. I haven't used a hairdryer. I've just been out in the sun. Um, so I have really struggled over years and years of having long curly hair to find the products that, that suit me and this combination seems to work so I'm not going to change it. Um, let me know if you want to know more about the products, if you want me to um, share the product names with you and I'll, I can do that in the comments and also just to show you the back so you can see the kind of definition of curls, that's what's going on there. And I, I just like this kind of shaggy, beachy look. Um, so if you've got hair like mine, which is not that thick, but there's a lot of it, then these products might work for you too. Let me know. Bye.